beauty. Such a vast and interesting concept, right? Like from the Indonesia tribes in Masuri, they have long brass rings around their necks to prolong their necks as that's defined as beautiful. Or in Ethiopia, in the Maru tribe, they have long discs in their lips as that's defined as sexy. At least it used to be those things. Now it's just the blockhead view of what it should and should not be, the westernized view. The view that it should be a slim figure, even slimmer torso, full eyes, full lips, and curvy figures. Now, the main culprit for such illusions is media. Don't believe me? Think back to when you were just a child. What's the one thing as girls you used to play with? Barbies. Now, think back to the Barbie doll. Now, is any of that figure of the Barbie actually relevant? This is why I've come to propose the idea of the Barbie doll syndrome. As through a simple toy, it can elude and manifest in a child's mind, proposing and eluding of what should be considered the norm and goals of what to be. I understand that it's concept and difficult to understand that just through a simple toy, girls can become self-confident issues, have self-esteem issues, become anorexic or bulimic, but the truth of the matter is, it's actually happening. Um, this is to be allocated along many other things, such as social media, such as Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, where basically millions of girls follow their stars and role models primarily on their physical appearance. Um, so, if you think about it, girls need validation from family, friends, and especially boys, just to think that they're pretty, because it's going to be okay because I look like Rapunzel, so one day my Prince Charming will come and rescue me from my tall tower of life struggles. But this is the 21st century, a time of which we've established that we don't need a Prince Charming to save the day. So I propose that we look at beauty in a new way, on the aspect that it's really on the inside that counts, and looks can be deceiving. Inner beauty, to see more than just a face and a body, is to see more than just the black and white copy in front of you. It's not to have love at first sight, as that should be deemed shallow. I mean, honestly, love at first sight is just being in love with somebody's body, not them themselves. I understand, I'm probably not the best person to speak so highly about inner beauty. I mean, I used to sleep in my makeup because I didn't like how my face looked, or I used to have showers in my swimwear primarily as I didn't have, like how my body looked. I remember standing in the mirror, looking at my nose and my face, wishing that my hair was straighter, my skin was lighter, my nose was smaller. But enough on that, moving on to things like how society should move on from petty things, like how our bodies are perfect or not in comparison to the impossible standards set. So, dear society, just because one person out of a million black and white copies shows the slightest bit of color does not mean that they should be treated defective, unwanted, or broken. They should be cherished and loved because you should be a flamingo in a flock of pigeons. You should be a Fruit Loop in a bowl of Cheerios because in a world of seven billion people, that's pretty impressive. The people who are different, they are unique. The world doesn't seem like that, though. They see them as competition, as a new aspect of how people are looking. You see, trends are slightly different because the people who start trends are all beautiful in society's aspect. The society doesn't realize that everybody's beautiful in their own way. Moving on, if you think about it, society only has the unfortunate irony that they encourage slim figures, yet look down on girls who become anorexic or bulimic. Now, moving on, Furthermore, I believe that embracing the inner beauty is more important than embracing the outer beauty because outer beauty is just what everybody sees, but inner beauty is what your friends, your families, and the special loved ones see. It's the people who see deeper who are more important to you than anybody else, not what society thinks, okay? So here are my three tips for embracing inner beauty. One, don't wear a ton of makeup. You're beautiful. You don't have to conceal anything upon layers upon layers of concealer. Two, stop the comparison game. You are your own person. You don't need to compare yourself to people like Kim Kardashian. Come on, that girl has so much Botox, I bet her eye can't close normally. Three, <laughs> um, tell yourself you're beautiful. I understand it sounds a little bit nuts talking to yourself, but every morning, just look at yourself in the mirror, list all the things you love about yourself, and say, I am beautiful because you truly are. Thank you.